It's cliche. Of course, of course. You need anything else? You know. Where to find us? There's something you think about the trade business? You won't find a better selection or more reason. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. It's cliche, but a thing about the trade business? Be my guest. The Trade Authority appreciates your visit. If there's something you need, you won't find a better select. If you need anything else, you know where to find us.
The trade authority has access to goods and services no one think about the trade business. You won't find a better selection. Pleasure dealing with you. Be taking off Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. And that's it. You're clear to land. Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them.
Nice to get out under the sun. Being a mother is not as good as I used to. Hey, 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 hey. Natural tracker. You smell that? I bet my badge. They cannot be far ahead. Let us hope they are not waiting just on the other side of this cave. You were right in that damn. Well, now. Look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. It seems we have found our quarry. Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. Don't recognize the uniforms. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's like the Major said, everyone's conveniently forgotten. Forgotten our sacrifice. Forgotten how we were betrayed. We'll make them all remember soon enough. I promise you that. Is that so? Well, we're mighty comfortable right where we are. What's more... We've got numbers. Seems to me you're playing with a weak hand. So, got any last words I should try to remember? If you think I give a damn about the Free Star Rangers, then you've got no idea who you're dealing with. Matter of fact, that just makes it even more fun. Air them out, boys! Guess you've led a pretty exciting life. Maybe the less I know about that, the better. Let's search the area. 
Maybe we can find something that explains what these guys were up to. Likewise. We should check the place out. This seems worth a look. Come on. There are worlds to conquer. Find anything interesting? Let's see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. So, their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now. men well it's good to see you're all right then 
They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Freestar Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. This city is so large, yet retains a sort of rustic feel. I find it comforting.
conspicuously rather well. Perhaps better than I would like. Never ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Ashta are more aggressive at night. Be on our guard if we venture outside the city. The Ashta. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes, but you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it, resentful. Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while, but it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera, what was left of it anyway. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Here, I have something for you. No, no, no obligation. I just... I wanted to. I saw it earlier and thought you might like it. Or find it useful. Or... Well, whatever. Of course. We are partners, are we not? I will keep an eye out in the future. And if I see something, I might hold on to it for you. You 
have my attention. You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. I hope that was it. Is that it then? I'll make sure Ranger Kalu knows to expect you. It would seem that the work here has come to an end. Well, you're back. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. It's not like we were eager to stick around, but we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point, just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett, bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his, like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, stay here, Lin, I got you. For some, perhaps. Barrett is quite capable. All things considered. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grab-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
Whether if you hibernate 